Well, a five points man is missing thousands of dollars of items after a burglar, get this, he used a ladder to access his second floor balcony. It's unreal. It happened at a complex near 24th in Glen Arm Place. I spoke with that owner who's sharing his advice to others. I thought that was a high enough uh, balcony that I didn't have to worry about people getting into it. But Jeremy Jessel was wrong. He came back from a weekend trip to the mountains only to find his mountain bike, snowboard and Yeti cooler missing from his second floor balcony. And I got a text from my neighbor who asked me if I was doing a construction project because there's a ladder that was out in front of my house in my unit for the last 24 hours. Sending Jessel this picture, a ladder leading to his second floor balcony. Sunday morning, like 6 a.m., I came in and, uh, and then, yeah, they must have gone in a hurry because they left the ladder and it was a commercial self-leveling ladder. He filed a report with police who tell Denver 7 the incident was just reported on Wednesday, saying they are investigating a burglary that happened in that area. I'd like to get my mountain bike and my snowboard and everything back. I mean, that's pricey stuff. Yeah. Like, how much money do you think all that was worth? I mean, the mountain bike alone was $3,000 at least. So, I mean, yeah, probably four or five grand worth of worth the gear. Jussels lived in his condo since 2008 and never had this kind of problem before. So now he's considering installing security cameras and is offering this advice to other people in the community. Lock up your bikes. Keep keep uh, keep on, uh, you know, security. I definitely definitely be aware. That's something I'll definitely be aware of moving forward and make sure I don't keep anything out there. And we hope he can get his stuff back. Now, according to the city's crime dashboard, the Five Points neighborhood has seen 262 burglaries within the past year. I asked Denver police if they are seeing this type of burglary often, and I'm still waiting for a response.